To help with your lovesick dilemmas, we've sought the advice of our love panel. Hi guys, my name is Mimi Misfit. And love makes me feel like... Oh my God. Is this what love is? I don't want it. Take it back. Hello, my name is Luke Cupfor. And to me, love makes me feel safe. But it's also one of the scariest feelings, like you just got to the top of a really big roller coaster and you don't know if it's gonna go forwards and be really fun or backwards and be really scary. Hi guys, I'm Yasmin Evans. And I just wanna say that love makes me feel warm, it makes me laugh and it makes me feel beautiful. I love love. Why is it that when you really like someone, you can't stop thinking about them? And why can it make you feel sick and unable to eat or sleep? It shows that you obviously really care about the person. I feel like that's a natural emotion that everyone goes through. If they, if they say they don't, they're lying. No relationship is easy, and I think that is why you could feel your stomach and your butterflies. Sometimes when you really like somebody, you can't get to sleep. And I think that's possibly because your body is basically saying to you, sleep doesn't matter right now. We can sleep in the future. Right now what matters is spend time with this person. Falling in love, finding your other special person is pretty much what your brain has evolved to do. Your brain is built to do that. What do you do if the other person doesn't feel the same and how do you get over this feeling? Don't let it get you down. I know it's really sad, but that person obviously isn't meant for you. I think your main relationship that you need to get right is the relationship you have with yourself. You win some, you lose some, and don't really see it as a loss. It's his loss or her loss if they don't like you. Find something new to do that might even distract your little brain whilst it processes and gets over the person that you liked. Going for a run, doing some exercise, that's not a bad way of virtually sort of soaking up that adrenaline, putting it to some other use and helping you calm down. Our love panel are answering more questions. How do you know if you really love someone? I don't know if you know. I don't know if you ever know. I think you just feel it. It's just a feeling that I have with someone who I didn't choose. It's an unconditional love. I think you know you're in love when you know that you would do anything for the person that you are with, but also that they would do anything for you too. It is so important that it's both ways. So science has a lot to say about uh, what we would call passionate romantic love because you can see it if you put people in a functional MRI scanner. You see their reward centres lighting up like they've just eaten a tub of chocolate ice cream and they have suppression of negative thoughts about the person they're in love with. So they will say things like, it's so cute when they pick their nose. Is it bad if you're the only one in the group who has never been out of anyone? Sometimes it means that you're putting yourself first before dating, which is obviously a great thing. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're forcing it to happen and you're really like doing the most just to get a relationship because everyone's in a relationship. It doesn't make sense. You're not just making yourself unhappy. Part of being uh, young is about discovering who you are. And being in a relationship can often, if you're not in the right relationship, can start to confine that mm. inspiration. Love can be more complicated when you're young because of the way your brain develops. Areas associated with emotions, <laughs> lust and impulse develop first. Whereas the area that controls rational thinking and decision making generally doesn't fully develop until our early 20s. You love yourself. You are attracting the best kind of love. The most important thing is that you are being you. You're being true to yourself and who you really are. Work on yourself, give it time, and I promise you, you'll be fine. Is there only one person for everybody? No, there are loads of people. There are loads of people. Except no, for me, I've, just got the one, I've got the one person I'm married to. Uh, good, good catch, down. good catch. But for everyone else, there's lots of people. Plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs>